Hello humans, that's all, this is Lawful, and today we are back for another episode of Monster Hunter Stories. Yes, we are almost done with the game, I think. I'm always saying that, but I know, really don't know when the game itself will, will end, but yeah. We are back, and yeah, today we are going to be continuously playing uh, uh, Monster Hunter Stories, and yeah. We gotta get to the Scrivener's boss by, you know, using this tunnel, I think? So yeah, we're gonna keep, uh, keep going. And we'll probably fight a boss at the end, <laughs> just like every other level. Ruins of Red End. All right, is this another village? All right. Ancient city, I guess. And look, it says it was forbidden, right? Yeah, there's a bus stop right there. <laughs> Greetings, I've been waiting for you. I hear that you will be assisting us with our latest investigation. I'm here on behalf of the hunters, looking forward to working with you. Hey, Roberto! Looks like everyone's here! There's no way we're losing to the Black Bar with this crew on the case. Lily has been researching Redden without so much of its pause, and she has finally discovered the location of the ruins of Redden. You have done well, Lilia. Thank you very much! I think I wanted to know more about Redden because I'm from Ryder Village. I always felt like the legend was a message being passed down to us. Redden is a figure from honorary antiquity, and much time has passed since then. The legend of Redden, even the existence of the mural, so much has been lost and forgotten. If it not for Lilith, it would have never discovered the Sarida heritage. If we can just find the mural, we'll find all about Redden. Leave it to us. Alright, let's go. Let's get to it. Alright. So close to Gildigaran, alright. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was curious about. Oh, yeet. Oh, treasure chest. Large barrel. Hey, what's up? Alright, they may have, may have left something behind, alright. I don't get why there's a <laughs> There's a bus stop, why the hell is here a bus stop? Isn't this supposed to be long lost and forgotten bullshit? Right. This tell screams Poogie here. Yes, Poogie, of course, Poogie. A long lost forgotten age. A Poogie still remains. Over there, what? Oh, what's this? Such a beautiful stone. Oh, could this be Raiden's tomb? Raiden was the first ever rider, your ancestor, right? Hmm, I can smell something behind the vines. Okay. Just need Tigorex to climb over them, I guess. Oh, that was the intro of the game. Oh, right. That's like that's what uh, that's this uh, that's the drawings that were that, that were all the way at the beginning of the game. Ah, oh, now it's all coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, interesting, very interesting. A hunter once, a rider becomes. 
Redden was a hunter who became a cognizant of writer skills, and joined in kinship with the white dragon and saved the world. Well, you understand something from that. And a hunter who's a writer sounds about as likely as a friendly Diablos. Bruh. Uh, well, uh, I have two Diabloses on my team, so, um, I guess? Don't be so hasty, Navira, I think she might be right. Alpha born of a wrath away before becoming a writer. So it might be possible for anybody to become a writer. Hunters and writers. Even though once they're, they're different, originally they were the same. This is blowing my mind. I mean, technically we're both hunters and writers too, right? I mean, we're slaughtering dinosaurs, I mean, heck, my arm is made out of one. And like they both respect and live with monsters, they're the same that way. But there are something things I still don't understand. What's the black red? And that must be the black bright, right? Then what we appear there's some still much for us to investigate. First, let us search for the egg of the white dragon. The tree mentioned in the mural that resembles the great tree of Babda. Alright, so the great tree of Babda. Alright. I just hope that there's not just a friggin' bus stop there. Climb in the first of Versa Petro egg. Alright. I mean, couldn't we just fly? Like, why do we even have wings? Right. Let's go, Diablos. Like, most of these creatures have wings, but yet hardly anyone flies. <laughs> Alright, oh god. Go away! Oh god, what? Oh! Oh, what the hell is that thing? The Zinogre? Alright. Okay. Oh! Oh! Come on. All right, here we go. Let's run. I think he's gonna go for a Thunderbug, right? Yes! Okay. The defensive stand. All right.
My throat is sore. Okay, keep going, keep going. All right, here we go again. Please. Here we go, no thunder supercharge for you. Oh what, he still does it? What? Aren't you supposed to skip a turn? Uh, I don't know what this boss is doing. Okay, this is just ridiculous, honestly. I don't think we can win this. Oh god, Ugh. no no no, not me, not me. Ah! Again? All right, here we go. Come on. Not again, please. Okay. 
<sighs> Here we go again. Oh, son of a bitch. Please just let me go. Yes! Yes! Oh! Oh my god. Good job, Mr. Trike. Good job. Well done. Look at all those levels. Oh! Oh, look at all these. Holy shit! Look at all this Thunderbug juice. Oh! Yes! Fang Wyvern. Alright. Uh, how's life? Pretty bad. Right, mushrooms! <laughs> Fucking tired, alright? So, anyways guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Spirit be with you. Bye-bye!